Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 13th through the 19th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Cappy. <clears throat> Stranded. To my left. My boy. To my feet. My other little boy. <clears throat> Let's see, Cappy, what's up? Oh, nice. The overall energy for the reading, the Emperor. This could be your power, standing in your power. Um, the more active or doer kind of energy. Let me go do. Um, we'll see. In the recent past, the Two of Pentacles, the Sun, the Five of Cups. All right. A choice. A choice wanted to be made here. I don't know what kind of choice. One was to bring happiness, one was to bring sadness. And a lot of confusion in front of this choice. Um, yeah, we'll see when we clarify about this one. But I see you kind of sitting there and looking at these two energies. Which I feel like you didn't see at that time, but one was clearly happiness, the other one was not so much. Um, so I don't know. In the current situation, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Love coming together, not only with one particular energy, but I see this more as your environment, your stability, what creates your... something you can rely on. And it's based on love here. Um, woo, windy. In the immediate future, the Temperance card, the Three of Wands, the Page of Swords. Kind of waiting for the proper time to take action towards something. But even then, it feels like you're um, slowly but surely getting ready to do something. It's not one of those, oh, for sure, I'll know that on Monday I'll go do this. It doesn't look like that. It looks like I know I have to do something and it's very important. However, I'll wait for it and when the time comes, I'll go. But that I'll go is not swimming in a pool of determination, basically, you know? Uh, let's see, Kai. Can we not play with the camera? Okay. Can we not play with the dog either? Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's clarify the emperor. <clears throat> Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like your focus right now is that of, and it showed up in your current situation, is that of um, spending time with someone you love. It could be, yes, that one. But I see, again, I see this more as an, a, a general kind of your friends, your family, whoever supports you and loves you and all of that, kind of creating that environment for yourself. Um, not only creating it, but sustaining it. So I see you giving energy to it. Um, that's where you're showing up to be at, at this point. Giving a lot of love and sustaining this stable environment. Let's see the recent past there. Let's see what the hell is up with these choices here. Let's do the Two of Pentacles. Five of Wands, Nine of Wands, Five of Wands. Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Five of Wands. Uh pretty a little bit of a self-sabotaging kind of energy because uh, think of it this way again i see you sitting in front of two choices one brings happiness the other one not so much and you're willingly looking at this one knowing that it creates some sort of conflict within you some sort of i'm always arguing with myself when i look in this direction i'm always mm, not that great when i look in this direction hey there's nothing here but at least i don't feel that because again, I don't see this as, oh, happiness is right here. Why don't you choose this? It wasn't that. It was kind of the contrast here. Would you choose this that agitates you and gives you the sense of, e e I don't like this. Or this that is neutral, doesn't give you much in the moment, 
but at least it doesn't give you this, you know? So you're showing up a little bit um, self-deceptive in that situation. My God, it's windy out there today. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's loud too. Not the chimes, the chimes kind of keep steady, but the wind com comes in like <laughs> Um, Let's see the sun. Let's see the sun in the recent past, yeah. The hangman, the seven of swords, the queen of swords. Yeah, it's that whole looking at it, not going for it, just, just looking over to that side and being like, yeah, and eventually kind of walking away from it. Because again, I kind of see you more inclined to choose this side that created conflict for you. Um, and that was the minute you stepped away from this side, you basically shut down to your emotions because your emotions would have guided you different. Let's do the five of cups. Ooh, full on. Full on. Um, <coughs> the chariot, the king of pentacles, the knight of cups. Yeah, you went in this direction, definitely. And um, it was by choice. It was a matter of Emotions do show up on this side, but I wonder at this point if it's your mind telling you that you feel certain things or if you actually felt certain things. Because I see you closed off to this side. So you can't function, oh, halfway I'm closed off because I don't want to look at that side, but halfway I'm open. Look at me, I'm open. You're either fully open or not, basically. So that's why I'm kind of thinking, hmm, was that you thinking that you felt something here? Because eventually what it led to is the Five of Cups, which is not that great of an energy. But let's see the Three of Cups in the current situation. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's an energy coming your way, definitely. One particular energy coming your way. And I feel like you're open to it. At the same time, you're resistant to it a little bit. Kind of like... Yeah, I want this. It feels good, but stay back. Stay stay where you are. Don't come any closer. Stay right there. Give me that energy from there. I'll take it, but stay there. Let's do the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, the Death card. Com commitment in this case, with the energies that are shown up, I don't see it happening. Uh, not at this point, at least. It seems like there's there's a little bit of, hey, let's work together on things. Let's take this to the next level. And I feel like maybe you or them, I don't know, but I feel like this is you saying to this, uh, no, thank you. I mean, as long as you're in this energy of stay back, probably not going to happen for you to, to walk onto this path of commitment here. Because it's a long one. It's a planned one. It's It's a beautiful one. But for some reason, I don't see you going there. Let's do the Queen of Cups. The Judgment card, the Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups. You're starting to question your emotions for this. I, I feel like you're recognizing this as a soul connection, something very important. However, you're starting to really go deep into the emotional aspect of this. Like this love that I'm feeling. Is it really love or what is it? Again, I see a little bit of in the past, and I don't know if you realize that then or now. The mind can tell us how we feel all the time. But do we really feel that way? So I feel like there's a little bit of that going on here with you. Um, it brings in a little bit of pain. You're kind of sort of still in that Five of Wands energy that showed up to begin with. A little bit of a battle between is this for real love or is it not? But if it wouldn't be, why would I be hurting? And you know, all sorts of things like that going on around this connection that's obviously shown up here. Let's do the temperance in the immediate future. <clears throat> Four of swords, king of swords, the magician. Well, somebody's shown up in a little bit of a different kind of energy over time. Um, and it seems to be this energy that's approaching you right now that you have the stay back sign on you for. Did I do that? I don't know. 
Um, they're showing up with a lot of determination coming towards you. They're manifesting this, they're wanting this, and they're coming from a place of healing, but it does seem like it's not gonna happen overnight. It's, it's a longer process than that for them and for this energy to show up in the way that it does here. Let's do the Three of Wands. Again, another energy that's kinda uh, backing this up with, it's gonna be a little bit of weight. Page of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Emperor. All right, they're showing up in an energy of equal give and take, but again, with the Three of Wands, not overnight. And I'm not sure by that time, because you're showing up here with the Page of Swords. So when, they're, when they do show up as, okay, I want this, your response being the Page of Swords, I don't know. Doesn't seem very encouraging. The Lovers, the Eight of Swords, the Star. Yeah, it, more than anything, I see you a little bit confused. I see you feeling things, intense things about this, but really, really confused. And from that confusion, there is not much action, basically. Um, you seem to be wanting this when it does show up like this, because it seems this energy, the way it shows up now, it's kind of like, yeah, whatever, let's do this. The way it's gonna show up here, it's more of a, hey, I wanna do something here and I'm sticking to it this time around. And whatever their actions are around it, prove that basically. But when they do show up like that because it's a new energy and it's it's like, what the hell do I do with this now? I feel like it's gonna confuse the hell out of you. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. The Hermit, the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. Again, I kind of get that sense right now from you of learning, learning from these lessons and feeling the need to be a part of a group somewhere, of, again, friendships, partnerships, I don't know, something. Because I see a combo of you staying open and learning from a group, basically of energies, not from, okay, I'm dealing just with this energy and this is all I wanna deal with by everyone. Uh-uh. Even though you're dealing with this, there's a group around you of energies that I feel like you're open to and learning a lot from. So, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.